How you all doing guys? I'm MJ Haggis and this is SnowRunner episode 210 of my Let's Play. Quick update then. So, we've completed everything you can do in Yellow Rock. We've got two left to do in the Lowlands. I, after the recording yesterday, spent ages trying to get everything back. As you can see, the Vorons here, I've taken the log carrier off, he's got the low saddle. He went about uh, this map and picked up the two... Um, trailers one was at the sawmill i'll show you the map one was here if you can see with the mouse and the other one was up here those trailers are returned and sold i've got the ank civilian back from this fuel carrier he's just back at the garage the lodestar scout is back in the garage i believe and you can see the phoenix is back it took a trailer from one of the crafting zones and I thought there's no point in leaving it there I don't think we're going to need it and they're worth quite a bit of money so I brought one of them back there's still one out there and the other uh, Azov 5319 has brought back the service trailer which was at the fuel station in the other map this trailer here was left in yellow rock and I, can't, I think it was left towards the gate yeah it was it was near the gateway in yellow rock um to the north so it would have been just through this gateway here on the other side so i brought that all the way back as well so now these are the two tasks that we're going to get started we're going to get definitely one of them started hopefully um both i have no idea what they involve yet having not activated them yet so, the plan will be get most of these guys back in the garage. Trailer sold. So, for example, let's get rid of this ramped trailer. So, it's only worth 4200 But we don't need it. So, we may as well sell it. If we're going to do something else, uh, quickly we'll jump into the Phoenix and we'll sell off his generator. 13,000 for a generator, well worth returning. And I've got another one to do. And the last one, change truck, is the Azov. And yep, he's in, and we'll get rid of that service trailer. And that one's 6,400. Okay, so while we're here, let's just get this guy back in the garage. As you can see, I didn't do anything with him. Still low on fuel and slight damage to the suspension. We'll get this guy in first, like so, and we'll retain him, local map, and we will jump in the Phoenix next. There's a quick bit of housekeeping almost. We'll get this guy, again as you can see, fuel's low and damage to both, so there was no shenanigans, I did actually, well you can't return to the garage anyway if you've got a trailer, you've got to ditch the trailer, so. And the last one is the Voron. Now I'm going to bring, I need to bring him back up with those saddles because we need to get this fuel car, a semi-trailer, back and sold. So we need to keep the low, the low saddle on him. So what I might do is I will get him ready to go back out. I'll just turn him around basically. I'm not going to worry about any of the damage or the fuel because obviously there's fuel in that other trailer. So let's do that. And into the garage. Now we need to go and activate these missions. So we need something to go and do that. And I think we might... Why don't we try and get the scout across? It's fast. And hopefully no issues getting across that water. So the, the mission will be... We'll go up to my usual route, up to the sawmill, down and across, and we'll come out about there, then we'll go around the road, and we'll activate both of them. At least then we know what's involved. A bit frustrating to drive all the way over there in a truck with a load bed, and you find out you need a low saddle or something that spawns in for that mission. Um, I'm just trying to think, is there anything left 
over in the other map. I can't quite remember. We'll have a wee look in a minute once we cross at these other missions. I'm sure I managed to get the other Azov and its trailer back to the garage. But, you know what? I can't remember. There's another thing we'll need to go and figure out. Now the question to you guys, hopefully you'll see this soon, as in within a couple of days at least, or no more than a couple of days, and leave a comment. Do you want me to continue doing the contract missions in any of the other regions? So similar to what we've done with this, so completing the region effectively. Or would you want me to download a mod map and continue with a mod map and its missions so it's something out with vanilla so basically that's it or if you've got any other suggestions you want me to try something then please leave a comment and I'll, I'll do my best to um, accommodate you Ultimately, the goal of this whole Let's Play was to get all the vehicles that we wanted that were dotted randomly about the map, and also to get all the upgrades. I think we're not too far from that now. I don't know of any major region that we have missed out who have left upgrades. Okay, where am I going to go? I'm going to go out there, I think. Yeah, upgrades. I think we've got... Ah, I do. I, I remember a vehicle now. There's that caterpillar telehandler that we have not located so maybe then we should have a look about getting that i'm not sure it's a particularly desirable vehicle it's slow i believe I, i've never driven it never owned it manager um so i don't know its capabilities but it's one we should have in the garage to say that we've got it Ground to immediate halt there. So, maybe we should I'll look into doing that, but by all means, leave me your thoughts on what you'd like to see next. Maybe you would like a mod map and also using mods. I do have some mods already downloaded, but I've never done a recording with them, so they are, I'd say the majority of them are, the vehicles wise are all overpowered. However, that's not to say you won't have a suggestion for a mod that's not overpowered, that's just an alternative what we already have. I don't know. This guy made no problem whatsoever of getting across there. Where is this other mission? Have I driven past it? Let's have a look. No, it's into here. And then the next one is over there. I've definitely not activated because they're not listed. Okay, what does this involve? Small order. I ordered this trailer with cargo. Well, oh, that'll be the one in the background there. And I need it delivered to my home. If you do it, I'll pay you. Well, what are the chances we took a scout with that? I do recall seeing that, I believe. So, oh well, that's cool. Where does he want to go with this? Two consumables. What? No. Pick up that flatbed, yes, and drop it off. 
Oh, way up. Way up. They are. Oh, man. And it's, yeah, flatbed and, yeah. So basically it's a trailer with those things on it. That's going to be quite a drive, but I reckon... And honestly, guys, that was pure coincidence that I happened to bring a scout here to activate that mission and a capable scout. So maybe we'll just do that with the Lodestar. I'm going to go and activate the second one and see what that involves. But that... That does go with what I said before we left. There's no point... If I had brought over maybe the... the Haystar or the Hager, find out, ah, oh, I need a scout vehicle. That would have been frustrating. Okay, let's go and visit this guy. Oh, there's a trailer. That clearly is going to be the deliver or pickup point. Pick up. Where do you want it? Delivery from the pier. Hi, they say you can help. We have to deliver this trailer with cargo to the customer up the river. Will you do it? We'll make it worth your while. Okay, we'll accept it. Let's have a look. Where's this one then? A okay. small order and delivery from the pier. We are going all the way up there. Up river, crikey. Yeah, other end of the map. The package sand in the sideboard trailer to the house in the north. So that would have been a good one for the Tega. I presume then you can just go straight in up there. Okay. Well, so be it. At least we know what we've got to do now. I'll change the mission back to the scout one. Fuel. Hmm. Well, we've got a hundred litres in the back, so I'm not going to panic about it. Whoa! Whoa, no! Oh, I th thought I was going to land back in its wheels, just like what the Voron, eh, not the Vor uh, the Azov did. But it's not a problem. we got a telegraph pole we can use. we got a tree we can use. Yep, okay. Uh, let's try and pull the front round. Oh, there's nothing here, really. Oopsie. Not wanting to pull it. There it goes. That's not really helping me. I need a, a better tree or something to pull me up. Oh, I still can't reach. Oh, n oh dear. Can anything reach? No. We're going to get stuck here if we can't get... Some sort of tree or telegraph pole we can pull ourselves over with. Nothing now. Still nothing in range. Oh dear. How far? We must be literally right at the bottom of the tree that it just can't reach it. Don't really want that tree to, to snap because we kind of need it there. Now we can. 
Please be a strong tree. But you're not a strong tree. <laughs> Don't despawn. Right, any others available? Yeah. One. This that looks like a stronger tree. There it is. Okay, just uh, don't mind me. Right, hopefully that will be able to get the front one. Any damage. It always puts it right where you don't want it. Can I lift me under my heels? Not really. Any other tree that we could use? Now it won't even pull me. Come on. Making hard work of this. There we go. Get on your wheels. Right, sorry about that. Clearly my drifting skills need a bit of work. Some days you get all the luck, others you get no luck. We jump inside. I don't think we've had a look inside this thing, have we yet? Bench seats. No seat belts. God, you wouldn't want to have a head-on collision in this thing. So I think we're going to have to head probably straight over. Damage got me again. The same way we came across this water. Are we moving? No, we're not. Okay. It is struggling to pull us through this. I need to go back outside to see the winch points now. One reach. That mud there, it's nasty stuff. You fool you out. Too far away, the tree in front of me. No. Still can't reach. How far away? Oh, a few feet.
Come on, Lodestar, I know you can do it. Basically heading for that building in the background. I still haven't reset that mission, have I? Yeah, okay, let's do it now. We are not doing that one, we are doing small order. Start tracking. Way up there. Yeah, maybe I was thinking about we can just get to near the garage and bring out a fuel the Phoenix again and refuel us from there. On the basis that we can get that far. 44 litres plus the hundred that we've got in the back. Shouldn't be a problem. This trailer is mighty heavy. Again, it feels like it's just dragging an anchor through the mud. Yeah, it's got a it's got a bit of a thirst this the uh, load star. I feel like we've been the the only delivery driver on this whole region. Whoa, fucking Bronco there. Right, nice and easy. Don't want any accidents. We've already had an accident. Don't want another one. Come on. Be, oh, thought it was going to go there. It'd be interesting to compare this Lodestar with the Ford F750, which we've not really used. And now I'm thinking, why don't we switch them over since we're so close to the garage? In fact, that's exactly what we will do. I'll just park this thing here, drop the trailer, yeah, drop the trailer, that'll do. Then as we've had the F750 for quite a while now and we've never 
never really used them, not for a long time anyway, other than probably just to get them back to the garage. Close, almost out of fuel. Anyway, we train him. We want the scouts. There he is. See, he's similar size, isn't he? We need to change the chains off it, though. No time sticking on, crikey. Um, tires. Off road. 45s. And I think the twos are the grippiest, yeah. Yeah, twos. Mistake. That's bigger than the load stars. They're 41s, aren't they? That's fine. What's he got in the back? He's got pickup bed with 200 fuel and wheels. That's pretty good. The roof rack with a more fuel and another two wheels and a utility mount with even more repair wheels and fuel. This guy's kitted out for long distance. Uh, autonomous scout, yes. Tuned custom, custom. Big engine. And I think that's everything. Yep, that'll do. Similar. For this, you can activate and deactivate the all wheel drive and probably the um, diff block. You can hear the deep roar of the 6.6 litre engine. No slouch, oh, but off road tyres, not grippy. Not in the car anyway. Does this thing even. I'm just wondering, does this thing even. I don't think this thing takes scout trailers after all of that. He doesn't want to reverse onto the trailer. Come on. just realised, because I remember we tried to no suitable trailer oops sorry guys, I totally forgot I, I remembered as I was trying to do it there, because we tried to use or I tried to connect this guy to a prototype um, exploration unit and it didn't connect okay that's a shame, because it would be nice to use this he takes normal sized trailers Why he's in the scout selection, I'm not too sure. Right, let's just park him there. Back to the garage. So I suppose that's, if anything, it's a wee reminder to you guys that the Ford does not take scout trailer. And they're both about the same size. It's really peculiar why they won't. Okay. But you know what I'm going to do, guys? If you want to see it delivered, you're going to have to come back. That's half an hour already. Just under, I believe. And we've got to go... S yeah, it's too much to get it done in this episode. This could take a, at least a few minutes. But if you enjoyed it, give me a wee thumbs up. That would be good. Um, I'll return the other one back to the garage and I'll maybe also take the the Voron over to the other side so we're ready to go for that last task um, and I'll do it before the start of the next episode guys but if you enjoyed it that would be good if you did leave a wee thumbs up and I will also ask if you don't mind subscribing it'll be appearing right there subscribers it just helps me no end as a small YouTuber, we grow 
fast together. I'll see you again soon, guys. Bye for now.